good to see you, sir. We'll get him in there later on. <laughs> we left Atlanta about 2 2.05 a.m. for the Black Bird Dog Handlers Association field trial. We're down in Georgia and uh, we're waiting on Neil Carter Jr. to get here. And they are loading up horses right now. And we're going to meet them and drive out to Mayhaw Plantation and, uh, you know, see what these guys got going. This thing got started back, I believe, in the 81. We were at a white trial, and at that trial, we couldn't run with them. So we come up with the idea of getting this trial started for ourselves. So we got up and then what they told us, said, if you get, get us a paper, everybody sign it, that the people said, okay, to bring the animal off the place, we'll go for it. And that been like 39 years ago. And we've been steady running and it getting better and bigger. And right now what we're trying to do, we're trying to bring it many young people in. And as I was telling you earlier, I'm getting with a lot of these guys. We got a little school going on our own. Don't too many people know about it. But we train the young guys, getting them out to do the same thing that we do. And so far, you've seen a number one dog come out for what we've been doing today. It was a seven. He got first place. Now, I had a good running dog myself, but after the second foul point, I got one nice point. I'm not the type of guy that keep a dog on the ground when he done messed up. Two point to me, he done messed up. Plus, I had my hand on it. That was the number one thing. I got him up, put him back in the wagon, because if I had to turn him loose again, he was going to get deep in there, and I knew it. So I told Curtis, I said, I'm getting him up now. So we got, we got a pretty good trial going. Like I told him up there, we got some gonna be mad. You have about 17 mad. You have three happy. So that's the way it goes. One thing about it, we work as a little family around here. You'll see me over to Curtis' house working with his son and uh, one of his guys that worked with him, they give me a hard time. I got one dog that they laugh at me, the dog throw me down and jumped in my chest, kiss me. So uh, we have a good time doing this and been doing it long enough to know what to do. You don't every time do the right thing, but if you listen, you're never too old to learn. One of these guys walked by me and said, you know, you've done such and such a thing wrong. I got to be man enough to listen to him. You know, when you down, sometimes you have nerve problems and you don't see everything you do. But that guy sitting on that horse behind me, you can see every move that you make. So that's what bird dogs all about. I've been in it 48 years. Uh, working for somebody else. Now my son and I, we should get in our own business started. Uh, last year we bought dogs and horses. We broke uh, about five or six dogs last year. We know what to do, we know how to do it. Then this year coming up, I'm hoping to find a couple thousand acres. And once we find that, he's gonna be on. Hard day ride. What did I tell him?
I talked to Joe. Y'all be, I be talking to Joe. Y'all don't even know what I'm talking about. That's about it. All right, My name is Neil Carter. Train bird dog for a living. Been doing it for 48 years and hope I can do another 48 years. Thank <laughs> you.